Hi everyone. Another confusion in gate 2023 question. Whether the answer of this question is ferrous or copper. Just be patient. It may take some time, but I hope I will give you a satisfactory explanation at the end of the video. Okay? Okay. First of all, the question is formation of M E N trace plus 2 from M H2O 6 times plus 2 and 3 equivalents of ethylene diamine is the least favorable when metal is. If you see, M H2O 6 times plus 2 is the reactant, M E N trace plus 2 is the product. So the reaction is moving from M H2O 6 times plus 2 to M E N trace plus 2. In nature, generally, if you take any reaction, if the product is more stable, then only the reaction is feasible. Otherwise, reaction is not feasible. Reaction will not move forward. That means the product should be more and more stable so that the reaction can be feasible. Here, examiner is asking least favorable product, least favored when metal is. That means we have to see least favorable product. Okay. So if the complex, the complex which is least stable, that is the answer. Okay. <clears throat> now, if you see MH2O6 times plus 2, this is the reactant. Here, four products are forming. CO EN trace plus 2, Nickel EN trace plus 2, Cu EN trace plus 2, Fe EN trace plus 2. You have to pick up that which complex is less stable. Your doubt is, according to the Irving Williams series, why the answer is not Fe plus 2, right? I will explain. First of all, you have to know one thing. This is substitution reaction, if you observe. Substitution reaction MH2O6 times plus 2 to MEN trace plus 2. When we are talking about the substitution reactions, you always have to go through liability and inertness of the complex. Liability always depends on the joint tunnel distortion. Liability generally depends on the joint tunnel distortion. If joint tunnel distortion is high, liability of that complex is high. Right? So, for example, if you take copper complex, so first condition is this. Whenever examiner is talking about the substitution reactions, you have to go through the liability and inertness because that is advanced than Irving Williams order. This is the first thing. Second thing, <clears throat> for suppose if you see here, if you see here, I have written Irving Williams series. I will explain you why you don't have to consider Irving Williams series here. Okay. So first of all, ferrous plus two is less than CO plus two is less than nickel plus two less than copper plus 2. So, according to the Irving Williams series, copper plus 2 is more stable because of three reasons. Because of three reasons. Whether this all three reasons supporting this or not, we will see. Okay. Deco. First of all, ionic radius. Okay. So, whenever you consider the ionic radius, definitely copper plus 2 ionic radius is very, very small. When you are moving from left to right in the periodic table in the transition series, ionic radius will decrease. When ionic radius is decreasing, charge increase, that means stability of that complex increase. According to that, copper plus 2 complex is more stable, ferrous plus 2 is least stable. According to that first point, ferrous plus 2 should be the answer. Ferrous plus 2 should be the answer. Next, CFSC, crystal field stabilization energy. So, according to the crystal field stabilization energy, if you see, ferrous plus 2 is 0.4, cobalt plus 2 is 0.8, nickel plus 2 is 1.2, copper plus 2 is 0.6. Actually, according to the first point, copper plus 2 is more stable. That means copper plus 2 should have high CFSC. But here, if you observe CFSC, CFSC of nickel is higher than copper. Higher than copper. That means this CFSC factor is not supporting copper plus 2. This CFSC factor is not, not supporting copper plus 2. So, according to the second point, copper plus 2 is not stable. According to the first point, ionic radius, copper plus 2 is stable. According to the CFSC, copper plus 2 is not stable. Again, third point, joint tunnel distortion. Irving Williams order said that because of the joint tunnel distortion, copper complex, what happens in copper complex? They go, e.g. orbitals is asymmetrical. Again, these two orbitals will split like this, will split like this. Here, two electrons in dz square, one electron in dx square minus y square orbital. So, total energy of the complex will decrease, stability will increase. Because whatever happens because of the joint tunnel theorem, two bonds which are there on axial, right? They are very longer. Remaining the four bonds which are on plane are very, very stable, thermodynamic stability. So because of this reason, four bonds are, are stronger here, two bonds are weaker here. So this will give extra stability to the complex. Because of that reason, 
According to the Irving Williams series, copper plus two is more stable. Ferrous plus two is least stable. But if you observe, second point is not supporting to this Irving Williams order. So according to Irving Williams order, if you consider the Irving Williams order, Irving Williams order didn't give satisfactory explanation. Irving Williams order didn't give satisfactory explanation. Okay. Now you have to see the complex stability. Okay. So according to the complex stability, what you have to see here see 0.8 CFSC 1.2 CFSC nickel copper 0.6 and this is 0.4 if you observe ferrous and copper John Teller distortion ferrous complex T2G John Teller distortion John Teller distortion is there but T2G is asymmetrical and copper complex EG is asymmetrical copper complex EG is asymmetrical EG when EG is asymmetrical John Teller distortion is very high when John Teller distortion is very high, that complex will be least stable. Uh, the co that complex is very, very less stable. Whenever the complex of copper is less stable, that will be the answer. That will be the answer. Clear? Clear? So here three points of Irving Williams order, all three points are not giving satisfactory explanation. And one more thing, examiner is, talk, is not talking about the formation constant. If examiner, okay, wanted to confuse you then definitely examiner will give you formation about we'll talk about the formation constant but examiner is not talking about the formation constants also so examiner didn't try to deviate you at least okay so only this is the substitution you have to think about the liberty and inertness so that whenever joint teller distortion of copper is very very high then obviously that is not stable that is not stable. You have to see the stability of the product always. You have to see the stability of the product. Second thing, this question actually is the application of John Teller distortion to very, very important application of John Teller distortion. And if you remember, if you remember CU EN tries plus two, CU EN tries plus two, right? CU EN tries plus two, one complex, next complex trans cu en twice trans cu en twice plus two and cis one also last one is cis one cu oh2 oh2 here mm, like this okay <clears throat> trans one is more stable because here John Teller distortion is there. So strain is very, very high here because of the John Teller distortion, because these are the rings here. Whenever we have the rings, strain is very, very high. So this is less stable. So comparatively, this trans one is very, very more stable, is very, very stable. So this is the reason why copper CU EN trace, this is the very, very best, best application of John Teller distortion. So this complex is least stable. That's the reason why copper is the correct option. Okay, I hope you people are clear about this now. Okay, so that's all. If you have any further doubts, please ask me in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching.